Hey everyone, it's Charlotte. Most of you know me as Charlotte from Chicago and I'm coming to you from my car. I haven't put out a video for a little bit and I knew that I needed to get back to it and so I have a very interesting and different thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I recently did a sensory deprivation tank for the first time and I had posted about it on Instagram and I know a lot of you had asked about it and said like what is it? How did you like it? What was it like? So I decided that I was just going to make a video to explain to you guys what my experience was, what I thought of it, and if I recommend it or not. So for those of you that don't know, a sensory deprivation tank is it's a giant pod and it's filled with salt water and the salt water is pretty much the your body temperature so it's it's not super warm but it's not cold water and it is super duper salty so the whole point is that you float and so it's a very high intense saline solution and it's in a pod and so once you get in there's a little light and you close the lid so you're like totally enclosed and then you turn the light off and you lean back and you float as soon as you lean back your body just floats like there's nothing that you have to do because of the buoyancy and because of the salt in the water you just float which was super weird I was not I didn't think it would be that effortless to float I think it's comparable most likely to the Dead Sea in um, Israel which I've never been to I want to but I have not been there yet but from what I've heard from people and studied is that you float just because of the salt, which is the same in the sensory deprivation tanks. So I went to a place in Kernersville, North Carolina. I had a Groupon for it, so that was a, that was a great decision. Check out Groupon, 10 out of 10, recommend. You can find lots of great deals on it. Shameless plug. So I got a Groupon for the sensory deprivation tank. I went to the one in Kernersville and they set me up, it was fantastic. You have to shower before and after and you're in a bathing suit. So I went in and you get into the tank and you kind of scoot to the back and then they had a little intercom that was like, are you ready to start your float? I was like, yes. So then I leaned back and immediately my legs just shot up and I went back, I was like, oh, this is weird. And the woman recommended that you kind of sit in this position and that's so that your neck and head and shoulders are in a neutral position. And since it's a zero gravity feeling, like there's no pressure on your body, my spine was like elongating and it cracked in a couple of different places. I was like, oh, this is so weird. And I had just come from the chiropractor. So it was, it probably would have cracked more if I hadn't been at the chiropractor and it just aligns you, which is really nice. And they give you earplugs because the water comes up to probably about here on your face and so um, that was what I had been a little bit worried about I was like I don't want to get salt water in my ears and just be sitting there so they recommend after like, you close the lid and everything that you turn the light off and it makes it absolutely pitch black and so at the time when I would first closed it the light in the room was still on so you could see it in the crack of where the um, pod closed and then I closed my eyes and a couple minutes later, once the a light had gone off in the room, I opened my eyes I was like, are my eyes open? Because this is the same level of darkness as when they're closed. So that was a really weird feeling. And if you get claustrophobic, I do not think you would enjoy this because you are in a pod in total darkness floating in water. So yeah, if you're claustrophobic, please do not do this. But you can get out easily, like, and you don't have to close the lid. They just recommend it, and I think it's a lot better because it maintains the temperature and everything inside there, and it really takes out all sound. And so the point of, like, a sensory deprivation tank is to deprive yourself of your senses. And so you have no sight, you have no sound, you can't really feel anything, and obviously you're not tasting anything, so it's... It's like a, it's a very weird experience and I've never been that kind of simplified in my life if that is the best way to put it. So um, at one point I had been laying there or floating and I thought I couldn't tell what part of my body was fully submerged and what was out of the water because you're floating. 
and I thought my fingertips were out and I twiggled my fingers and they were fully submerged and the water rippled a little bit and I was like oh that was trippy that was weird because I thought m my fingers were exposed but since it's the water temperature is the same temperature as your body you really don't notice it very much and when you don't move the water stays perfectly still and that's what the point of it is is that you're supposed to stay perfectly still in the tank and the ultimate goal I know this is gonna freak some people out the ultimate goal is you're supposed to fall asleep which falling asleep in water sounds really stressful and when I explained this whole experience to my dad he's like I feel myself drowning already so no you're not gonna drown because you would notice if you started to roll over but I'm someone that always sleeps on my side and I fell asleep in that tank just sitting like this it was super relaxing and nice because I was sitting there and the whole point is just to quiet yourself so I tried not to move at all once I got adjust adjusted and comfortable in the tank because you kind of bump your feet or your hands at first when you're first floating around and I had to make sure I was in a really comfortable position and halfway through my ears started itching and I was like nope I am not disrupting this I am not gonna move my earplug and I just had to sit there and be like I'm not gonna pay attention to it it's not happening it's not there and so I ended up concentrating on my breathing, doing four in and four out. And then eventually I ended up just falling asleep doing that, which I had been a little worried about and I didn't think that I was going to fall asleep. But the woman at the spa told me that one hour of sleep in the sensory deprivation tank is the same or it's the equivalent to three hours of REM sleep, which is a lot. So. When I woke up, I ended up feeling really, really energized, which was nice. And um, the way that they wake you up, they don't just come in and open the tank and that would, that would freak me out. What they do is that they turn on the light in there when your session is done and it's just a very gentle light. And if you don't wake up to that, that's when the jet comes back on just to start moving the water around. And that should wake you up if that. And then um, they have the little intercom speaker so they can always wake you up that way too. But I woke up immediately when the light came back on and I didn't think I had fallen asleep. I was like, oh, yep, definitely fallen asleep for a little bit. And it's hard because you have no sense of time when you're in there. And the sessions are typically an hour. You can do 90 minutes also or I think longer, but 60 minutes is like the standard time. And that's what I did for my first session. And I was like, oh, this is weird. How much time has gone by? What's going on? And then I said, no, no, like, stop thinking about things just relax and to be in silence for that long of time is very it's very therapeutic and as someone who's a talker and likes things going all the time you definitely need to just calm down remove yourselves from situations and just decompress sometimes so this was something that I really enjoyed. I personally do not get claustrophobic, so I didn't have any problem. And I consciously know that if I did get claustrophobic, I can just sit up and open the lid. So it, it's all mental there, but I really enjoyed it. Um, the salt was very interesting and just you have to make sure that you wash it off like very well after just so it doesn't dry out. And do not go in if you have any cuts because salt in a wound does not feel good. So overall, I would recommend it to anyone, except if you're claustrophobic. And yeah, other than that, it's fine. It's great. It's very relaxing. Um, I wouldn't pay a huge amount for it, depending on where you are, different prices. This place with um, is usually like $50 for an hour, at least the first session, but I had a Groupon and I had a coupon on my Groupon, so I only paid 25. The best part about Groupon, you can continue to get coupons. Yeah, so check out Groupon if you haven't yet. This is just recommendations all around. But like I said, I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it to anyone. Sorry if this video got a little bit long, but it was a very cool experience and I definitely plan on doing it doing it again. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all soon.